Hello Underwater friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do color correction on my shots from GoPro. We're not going to do the full color grading and everything that we'll see in the next section. But right now, we're just going to correct the colors, exposition, contrast, and try to get the white balance as accurate as possible. I will use a few techniques, but it's not the only way, okay? For us, we're going to use Adobe Premiere, but with Adobe Premiere, there is always different ways to find the same solution. Okay, so today I choose five files that are a little bit different, and we're going to try to see how we can color correct it. So first of all, I go on color, and I'm going to use the basic corrections. So I choose, I pick my file and now I can look at it. So on this one, it's an octopus and we see that the water in the background is a little bit blue, but not so nice. On the left top quadrant, I open the Lumetri scope. So those are different scopes that helps us to figure out what is right and what is wrong in our shots. The problem with the monitors is that they are not always perfectly calibrated, so you can see errors that actually are not, or think that a shot is nice when it's actually not. So, first of all, I'm going to try to work on the contrast, but I'm not going to use exposure and contrast, I'm going to use highlight, shadows, white and black instead. Why? Because like this, I can really achieve the good contrast I want, and choosing from which part of the spectrum I want to get the colors. So first of all, in our case, the highlights can be a little bit higher, even the whites to go at the edge. And then we can lower the shadows and even the black a little bit as well. Okay, now we have more contrast, but we see the color is off and actually even maybe more off than it was before. We have some spots in the shot that are close to white. So we're going to see if we can just get the color back like this white balance selector. So in this case, it was pretty nice. Actually, it brought us a lot of red and made it a little bit better. But I think this time it's a little bit too warm. So I'm going to add up a little blue instead. And now we can darken a little bit from the black. Here you can see there is a function button. So this is a before and after. So now it's still not perfect, but we had not so much contrast before and now it's much better. Because I film on flat with my GoPro, I can add a little saturation, maybe 205 would be enough. And now you see that the vector scope is much better. So before we had this and now that's what we have. There are other ways also to correct it, but like I said, we'll see it in the next section. So let's go to the next one. This one, same thing. It's a little bit too bright, especially on the blue. It's missing some red and all of the dark actually from 20 to zero is not existing. So let's start with that. So shadow a little bit less to make it darker actually a lot less and as well black a little bit and now we see there is even more difference than before with the red so we're gonna try with white balance selector we're gonna try to go on one of the sweet lips and see how it works now i think it's way too much it's not really like this that it would be so it's way too warm, so I'm going to take off some. But it is already better. Here's the before and after. Maybe a little bit saturation. Yeah, plus five. And now we see that we're peaking a little bit on the white, so we're going to take off a little bit white. Normally I try to get no more than about 95 for the top white. You can see on the scope here that in the middle you have the sweet lips and around you have the background. So not so much red, a little bit more green and way more blue. 
let's see on the next one how we can do okay this one all of the colors are about the same there is enough red enough green and blue but the background is really horrible it's not blue at all it doesn't look the way we want so let's try again with the white balance selector that's always the first pick this time we're going on the gray part well, it doesn't move too much let's work on the contrast so highlight i think is way enough let's bring the shadows down it's going to give us more contrast the black as well okay as we can see the contrast is already much better but now we still have the problem of the water being a little bit brown in the back so we'll try to add a little blue and now we see the white is peaking so we're gonna take off some white here we go it's not perfect but it's already closer to what we want the blue is more blue the skin tone is better and so we have a better image like i said earlier on all of those clips i will try later to go on color correction and try to adjust more things so next this one is definitely way too blue as we can see here the blue is very high and the red is much lower the skin tone looks all blue for the hair don't worry my kid decided he likes blue hair so now he got blue hair so same thing as before first we're gonna try just with the white selector we have gray here that should help a lot here we go now it already balanced a lot you can see without the red was way below the other colors and just with the basic white balance it's much much better skin tone here is quite nice and it didn't damage the blue of the water so much maybe we can lower the blue a little bit to make it a nicer watercolor now what do we have we could go a little bit darker and we're peaking a little bit here so let's remove a little bit of white we can compensate by putting a little bit more highlight not so much maybe 15 and lower the white a little bit more bring the shadows down to have a darker black here because it's supposed to be black and just peak here to have the darkest without losing information so once again not perfect but much better and actually it's color corrected final sequence the indian walkman scorpion fish so this time there is almost no background from the from the back but i'm not so happy with it there is not enough contrast so let's try a little white balance but it shouldn't help so much here on the tail oh a little bit it's a little bit less warm than it was before and actually it's a little bit more contrasty and a little bit less brown bring down the shadows yep bring down the black a little bit less for the black okay now we have more contrast the color is much better there's a little bit too much white especially on the top right part of the picture but we can probably compensate with a little bit more of the highlights we can try a little bit more saturation and this one seems to be quite okay so all of the shots we have oh this one i'm not happy with it it's way too blue so i'm gonna put a little bit more don't hesitate to come back to your shots and to your color correction because sometimes you think you're getting the good color correction and you've been working on it for quite some time but then when you come to it again it all looks weird and funny so don't hesitate to start from scratch sometimes or just to come on the thing like a day later or so for me the I see the black is peaking and it's a little bit too much and I'm thinking I'm much happier with this. So first one was this without correction and with much more contrast, nicer, 
Same thing on this one, the sweet lips. The white is more white, the yellow is more yellow. This one have a little bit too much contrast for me. I'm going to remove a little bit white here. But it's much better than it was before because before it was all bright and not contrasty. This one was blue and now it's a little bit less blue. Maybe still too much. But I don't want to compensate with the, the background. And for the final one, we have an Indian Walkman scorpion fish being attacked by a moray eel. And the colors are much better with the correction than it was before. Okay, I hope you liked this section and how we corrected the colors. Like I said, it's not the final result that we have, but we're trying to get the contrast good, uh, make sure that we don't lose information because of the white being too white and the black being too black, and that we get closer to a neutral, I mean, natural white balance. We're gonna see in the next section if we can get it better in the creative section of the color metry or by going through effect and I will show you different ways to go to that. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to know more about how I film with a GoPro and how I try to get better videos, don't hesitate to watch the series and watch my playlist. And if you want to see how I film small animals or other things, don't hesitate to watch my video on skeleton shrimp. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day.